Hello guys. I hope y'all are having a fantastic party. I just want to show you one of my favorite stamp sets. It's called Very Vases, Varied Vases. And it was designed by one of our million dollar sellers. Her name is Mary Fish. She's very talented and I love this stamp set. Um, it actually comes with a coordinating punch, um, which we're actually not going to use on this card. But um, there's so many fun options that you can do with that. Um, but this stamp set we're going to use to make this cute card. And I'm going to show you how. Super quick and easy. So you're going to need to start with um, cardstock. Crumb Cake is the neutral that I'm using. And it's going to be <clears throat> 4 and a quarter by 11. This. Um, this is the in color designer paper, which comes in a six by six stack, and I love it. It comes in all the new colors lovely lipstick, call me clover, grapefruit grove, blueberry bushel, and pineapple punch, I think. Um, anywho, lots, this is two packs, so um, it's quite a bit, but it's got polka dots and stripes and lots of fun, fun little things for you to play with. So um, we're going to use the grapefruit grove piece, and it is five by a half and then we're also going to use a strip that's four by one and um, we're going to start <coughs> with our piece of grapefruit grove paper which is four and a quarter by three and we're going to just give a little detail to it so we're going to use one of our new ink pads and we're going to ink that up and we're just going to make a little detail on this just for happiness and fun. You don't have to get all up in your head about it lining up perfectly. It's very forgiving. So just, I did offset the second one just a little bit there. And then we're going to <clears throat> do our stamping on our, so I also cut out a stitched shape white circle and a crap a crumb cake layered circle with the layering circle framelits stitched shape framelits my two probably most used framelit sets now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use this stamparatus to get these um, vases positioned perfectly so what you're gonna do, and I was curious if I could put a circle in the corner of my Stamparatus, but indeed you can. So stick your circle in the corner. And then I've already lined this up, but I'm just gonna unline it up to show you how you would do it. I know that my, um, <clears throat> my flower needs a little space here, so I know kind of right where this needs to be. It's gonna be kind of down and to the right a little bit, but we've gotta leave enough room for our sentiment. So that's where our first stamp is going to go. So you place it there and then you open it. Now we're going to take our crumb cake. I'm going to ink that up. Let's see if we're on the screen here. All right. Ink that up. Stamp it. All right, so there's your crumb cake. Now, to line this up perfectly, you're going to take this you're going to line it up with your eyeballs here and then you're going to then you're going to um, close your stamparatus ink this up and then shut it so that should line up perfectly to make your little deal there all right now you're going to remove your oval from your stamparatus. Put it aside. Ben is here making fun of me in case you're wondering. Um, all right, now I'm going to stamp my flowers. So you'll see that the flowers don't need to be as tall as the vase you see here. So I'm just going to ink up a little small part of them. Full strength and just going to have them sticking right out of that vase. And then I'm going to use the stamp that fills in the flowers but stamp off on my paper so that it makes a lighter stamp inside there 
super cute. So it looks like you used two colors of ink, but you really just used one. All right, now it's time to build your card. So we're going to fold our base, add our layer on the snail. There we go. And then you're going to use your banner punch, triple banner punch, to punch this banner. And this banner, I love this thing. I'm so glad it's in the catalog. I was worried. So we're happy that it's still there. Then I put a little bit of snail on here, layer this up. Put a little bit of snail on here, here. layer that right next to it. All right. Next, we're going to build a little layer with our stitched shape. Oh, and I can see one more thing I forgot. So you're going to take this cute little sentiment, and I don't know if I've ever seen anything this cute. Have you been? Mm -hmm. No. You're going to ink this up. It just says thanks. Sweet and simple. All right. Then the last thing we're going to do is pop that up with dimensionals. And that's not the last thing. That's the next to last thing we're going to do. Because every paper, every card needs a cute little bow. So I've tied um, a ribbon with the grow grain ribbon. It, this is an one eighth inch grow grain ribbon and it ties really nice and neat. And it comes in all of the new in colors that I showed you in that paper. So I've just tied a little bow and we're going to stick it right there at the glue dot. So cute and simple. And I just want to show you another card that I made the same layout, but with um, a different design or paper and color scheme. So I hope that you enjoy this video and have a fun party.